What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ukulai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to flash back to the past a little bit here with this one and we're going to take a look at what I believe is the best content system for Call of Duty to date thus far. The best DLC system that we've ever seen in Call of Duty. And of course, you're more than welcome to disagree with me here with this, but I'm gonna back it up with a little bit of reasoning behind it. So let's talk about the DLC system model that we have right now. The model that we have for DLC currently is on a, say every month and a half to two month basis, we get four maps and a zombies map normally. We'll usually get a third mode map with it as well, but four maps included within that two month time frame or whatever. And then in between, it's basically just players play the maps until they get bored and then there's not really anything to look forward to until the next DLC pack. That's something that the model's been going on for a couple of years now and for the most part, it works out for serving its purpose, providing new content in bulk to players where they want to see brand new content. But what if we got content a little bit more steadily? And for those of you guys that have been around Call of Duty for quite some time, you might remember that we actually did have content on a much more steady basis than that of what we do right now. And if you've been around long enough, I want you to think back to Call of Duty Elite. And for those of you guys that were not around for Call of Duty Elite, it was a service initially created by Beachhead Studios that in 2011 was going to coincide with the release of Modern Warfare 3 to be a service that players could either do for free or pay a yearly subscription fee to get additional features for. Now, it would initially cost $50 or 4,000 Microsoft points per year, but the subscription also was was in a few different ways that you could get it, including the hardened edition of Modern Warfare 3. Now, it was earlier in a beta in Black Ops back in July 14th of 2011. That is when it was set exclusively for Black Ops, but it was something that the beta ended in October and then was officially created for Modern Warfare 3. But features like this included the career mode, heat maps, theater, vault slots for clips in theater mode, Facebook friend importing weapon performance statistics, all that kind of stuff, but all in all, there was a bunch of extra things that came along with the subscription fees. Monthly DLC, which is where we're going with this conversation, exclusive video series, additional vault slots for your theater mode, and other things alike. But the big, of course, main feature with this was monthly DLC, and Elite offered this overall to everybody. The DLC was monthly. We didn't have the stagnation between months where it basically got dry and Call of Duty got a little bit boring to some people. Every single month there was brand new content, whether that be multiplayer, spec ops, missions, or face-off maps, there was a bunch of DLC added in every single month. Now to give you a little bit of a perspective of this, how this all ran down, Content Pack 1 was released on January 24th and it had two multiplayer maps, Piazza and Liberation. Content Pack 2 was released on February 21st and it had Overwatch, Content Pack 3 was released on March 13th and it had the map Black Box as well as two Spec Ops missions called Black Ice and Negotiator. Content Pack 4 was released on April 10th and had two maps, Sanctuary and Foundation. Content Pack 5 was released on May 15th and it had the map Oasis as well as multiplayer face-off maps Lookout and Getaway and then had missions for Spec Ops called Ironclad and Kill Switch. And additionally, there were maps such as Erosion, which were released to everybody for free on the 15th as well. The face-off map Aground was released for free to everybody that day following after. And then we move on to Content Pack 6. June 19th, face-off maps Vortex, Intersection, and U-Turn were added, as well as Spec Ops missions Arctic Recon. Content Pack number 7 was released on July 17th, including Decommission, Offshore, and Terminal, which it was not part of the main content calendar, but was added in as is. Then, additionally, we had a Spec Ops mission called Vertigo. That brings us then to Content Pack 8, which was August 7th, and Spec Ops missions Light em Up and Special Delivery were included, as well as a new Spec Ops mode called Spec Ops Chaos. Content Pack 9 was then introduced on September 5th, with multiplayer maps Parish, Boardwalk, as well as Gulch were introduced at that point. So we had nine content packs dispersed throughout the nine months of the year, and that brought us ultimately then into the next title, or rather the main period where we saw the next title really start to be hyped up. So that basically covered DLC 1 to DLC 4, but every single month we got something rather than having that little bit of dry periods in between each one. Now, while I don't think this would be something that comes back immediately here within the next couple of maybe year to two years, I would definitely love to see this come back at some point in time during the near future because I honestly think this is the way for players to maximize the amount of playtime they have on the game also, but also their enjoyment factor out of the game. So that said, if you guys enjoy brand new content, would you guys rather have content every month 
or once every two months, two and a half months, whatever it is currently sitting at right now. I think the obvious answer is that you'd want more content more frequently, although it ultimately boils down to be the same exact number of things that you get at the end of the year. It's just a matter of how much and how it is dispersed at what point in time. So I personally think that I would be okay with two maps here and there, maybe two maps every month for multiplayer. And then we ultimately come together for those 16 multiplayer maps per four map packs that we would have in comparison to right now. But ultimately at the end of the day, once again, it's not my choice. I just thought it would be interesting to talk about this and get your feedback here on it because for a lot of people, you might not have been around for Modern Warfare 3. Some people might not have been here on the channel that early. And of course, it is something that for them, they never got to experience it. So that said, what would you guys like to see? Would you like to see content come back to the monthly basis where we get two maps or so released every single month and some stuff on the side? Or do you guys enjoy the current system better? Love to your thoughts, and of course, there is no right or wrong answer. It's all discussion, personal preference, and everything like that. So, love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, though, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to everything. Modern Warfare Mastered, COD 2017, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, all that good stuff. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below if you guys want to toss a follow. And finally, if you guys want to check out either of the two videos on screen right now, one will take you to one of two weapon camos that have never been released, and this one is in Modern Warfare Mastered. And one will take you to when to expect the reveal of Call of Duty 2017. So if either of those interest you, check out the links on screen right now. I'll see you guys later. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.